So if you're wondering if a Jeep Gladiator will pull a camper, and I mean a, a real camper, not, not a little one, I don't know if you can see it in the rear view mirror, but yeah, it can. <laughs> so there's been a lot of questions, uh, a lot of people asking how much will the new Gladiator tow? Well, that depends on which model. Um, what we have here, we have a Sport S with max tow package. And right from the factory, it's good for 7,500 pounds with that. The camper I'm dragging behind me, the dry weight on the camper is 5,000 pounds. Uh, leave it to me to put all my fishing junk and camera gear and all that and then my wife loading it up with all her stuff uh, food all the other nonsense you take camping with you I'm sure we're I'm sure we're over 6,000 pounds uh, I'm doing 67 miles an hour right now 3,500 RPMs, but I just went up the hill. Uh, now it's dropped down to about uh, 2,800. So, yeah, I mean, I've been happy with it. We've we've had this camper for about a year now. I've had this this Jeep for about a year now, and it it does really well. We uh, we go camping. I don't know once a month, maybe twice a month, sometimes. I haven't had any problems. Uh, you know, you go up a you go up a big hill or something. Yeah, you're gonna go you're gonna go slower, but it does pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with it. So let me give you a little breakdown. Uh, the I, I don't off the top of my head. I don't uh, I don't remember what the Overland and the Rubicon and the Mojave and all those models. I don't know what they're rated at, but let me go back and uh, give you a little history lesson. If you, if you watch the channel, uh, you probably know all this stuff already anyway, but had a two-door Wrangler, uh, a JK, and I had my Overland trailer that I built and it towed it fine. The two-door Wrangler's only rated for 2,500 pounds, but my trailer only weighed, you know, 1,300 pounds or something loaded. Um, and what happened is we ran out of room for all our junk, and we bought our Commander, and uh, that then we started pulling that Overland trailer with that Commander, and it was fine. And it was rated for 3,500 pounds. Well, then we decided that uh, we wanted a, a bigger RV, and we wanted the bathroom, air conditioning, all that stuff. And uh, we got the Gladiator because this this model, the Sport S, was rated for so much, and it, it really it's really nice. Uh, the only thing that I've done to the Jeep to to help or to be able to tow was I put a Red Arc trailer brake controller in and the reason I did that is because that one doesn't have, if, you, if you've ever had a pickup or anything with a trailer brake controller, most of them are those big giant units that you have to screw up under the dash and you're always hitting your kneecaps on it and crap gets in the way when you're getting in and getting out. It's a pain in the butt. Well, the Red Arc one, I'll, uh, I'll put a link below, but the Red Arc unit, with that one, everything goes behind the dash except for just a little knob. And it's, I'll, uh, I'll put some B-roll in of it, but the knob doesn't get in the way. I don't hit my knee on it. Of that stuff and it works really well I haven't had any issues with it um, now a lot of you know I'm sure there's some haters out there 
oh, you got a gladiator and you don't have it lifted, and blah, 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 blah. Well, that's right, I don't. I don't have it lifted. I don't have anything but the stock suspension on it. Uh, I did recently go and get new wheels and tires, uh, but I put 265, 75R17s on here. And when you compare those to the tires that came on in stock, they're exactly the same height. The, uh, the wheels I got do stick it out just a little bit farther, which I thought was, makes it look a lot better. And the tires are a little bit wider, but they're the exact same height. They're just nicer. They're uh, Goodyear Duratracks. The, uh, the road noise on the tires is great. You know, you have good mud tires on there, you're going to get a lot more noise. But these tires, no problems. No noise. I can still listen to NPR driving down the river. She's fine. <laughs> My old man stuff. Uh, now there is one thing that I don't know if you would consider it a modification to the truck or a modification to the camper, but we're using an equalizer hitch uh, at the where the camper hooks up. If you don't know what an equalizer hitch is, uh, it's the physics of it is basically like a wheelbarrow uh, it's a it's a certain type of hitch and there's 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 a few different kinds of them but ours has the uh, what do you call them? torsion bars I think is what they're called and you know you think about how a wheelbarrow works you have a wheel in front two handles in the back and when you pick up you're easy you can move a load well an equalizer hitch if you don't have one and you you hook a uh, a big trailer or camper in this case you hook it up to a little a smaller truck like this you know you're gonna squat it well an equalizer hitch levels that back out and I think ours is the E2 I think I'm saying that right and it was a uh, it wasn't cheap it was gosh I think it was maybe 800 bucks for the the whole kit and caboodle but it works really well, so keep that in mind too. Right now, this weekend, we're headed out to Eastern Oklahoma, or as we like to call it, the uh, the pretty half of Oklahoma. We're gonna do some camping, some kayaking, some fishing. That dude looks like he's going out somewhere fun. Anyway, I'm not gonna make this video very long. I'm just showing you guys I'm, I'm in a gladiator. I'm towing a 20 something foot camper behind me that's it's loaded down. Um, and it works just fine, man. It works just fine. This is a double axle camper. Uh, if you're looking at a camper and it's one of those single axle ones, man, it's gonna tow it even better. Because those things don't weigh diddly squat. So, Seriously, if you're considering a gladiator for uh, for towing a camper, it's it's a good call. So that's it, guys. I'm gonna go fishing. Later.